Hey everybody, in this video, I'm gonna cover why you should participate in a high school science fair in five minutes. All right, here we go. It is an honor to do this video. So if we've never met, my name is Mr. Chow. I'm a passionate high school teacher and college professor. And over the next two weeks, I'm gonna be releasing short, less than five minute videos, really to help you, uh, really to help better educate you. So thank you for clicking on this video. I am a high school biology AP teacher. I love science, I love research, and I love great ideas. And every single year, I love supporting students in their science, in their science exploration and really innovation. So I've served as a mentor to so many different students who have entered into science competitions and actually won them. So I'm super excited to talk to you today about um, why you should do a science fair in high school. So in this video, I'm gonna review, number one, what is ISEF? You probably have heard of it, but I'm gonna quickly go over that. Number two, how can you apply? Number three, the specifics. Number four, the awards, the fees. And then finally, why should you participate in high school? There's timestamps below. So if you wanna skip ahead to any of these, you can go ahead and do that. Now, let's get started. ISEF stands for the International Science and Engineering Fair. Now, I know in middle school, there's a lot of different science fairs, but I got to be real. When it comes to high school, I don't see as many students as interested or having the time to do something like this. But I want to encourage you with this video to do so. Uh, the ISEF is owned by the Society of Science. So a lot of the links that I have are from the Society of Science. And I'll talk more about that in a bit. It was founded in 1950. From 1997 to 2019, so as of recently, it was known as the Intel Science Fair. So if you've heard of that, that this is what I'm talking about. Uh, now it's called the Regenerin uh, Science Fair, uh, sponsored by Regenerin Pharmaceuticals. Uh, but it's really the same thing, ISEF. There's $5 million every single year in scholarships given to students. So I want to educate you and I want to inspire you to hopefully participate in, in ISDF in the future. So once again, there's a link below in the description to uh, what is ISEF with some more information. All right, so, let's, uh, and so take a look at that. Number two, um, how can you apply? Well, first off, students need to be invited. So pretty much you need to win the right by competing in other Regenerin ISEF affiliated science fairs. So fairs are conducted at the local, regional, and state and, and national levels. I know for us, there's one in our county, and then there's one in our state. So and if you do well in those, then you'll be invited to the International Science Engineering Fair. All right. So that's how you get in. You can't just apply straight. OK, there's a link below once again to find the nearest affiliated fair nearest to you. So click on that link and it'll bring you to their website and you can kind of see uh, what are the opportunities for you. All right. What are some specifics? So there's over uh, uh, there's more than 420 affiliated high school science fairs out there, nearly 2000 finalists. So there's a chance to almost 2000 people are uh, judged in the ISEF um, competition with 21 different categories. Approximately 600 finalists received awards. So once again, there's a chance. I know there's a lot of students, but that's a pretty big number. Um, and every single year it goes up. So you can individually you can individually apply or you can apply as a team. So talk to your friends and if you're interested, uh, share, maybe even share this video with them and they can find out a little bit more about it. There's a link in the description below to all the stats and all the awards that are given out. Let's talk a little bit more about the awards. The grand awards for each of the 21 categories. So 5,000, 2,000, 1,000 and 500 dollar prize. One, one, uh, first through fourth award, and then there's the top award. So they take all the first place awards and then they rank you and then they give you the opportunity to win up to $75,000. Once again, in the description below, there's a link to all the prizes and all the uh, um, uh, monetary awards. The fees, let's quickly talk about this. So there is a fee and I don't wanna lie to you here, but there is a fee when it comes to ISEF. So now for your local and regional competition, click on the website and find out more information there on how much they charge. But I do know for ISEF, there is a charge, but there's also an opportunity to be nationally recognized and get an award. Why should you participate? There's a lot of reasons. Personally, because you're passionate and interested. Because you want to share your ideas and research with others. Professionally, think about it. If you want to do research in college and beyond, this is a great stepping stone to that. There's lots of scholarships and prizes and really to network with other students out there and to see what are they doing. So I truly hope that this quick video has helped inform you and educate you on what and why you should participate in a high school science fair. And I hope that you're inspired to participate in the near future. And once again, if you're one of my students, please consider applying. I would love to support you because I've never had a student go to ISCF. I've had a student win state, but once again, not go to ISCF yet. All right. So I hope that's, that's you. Have a good one and I'll see you next time.